Uh, ocean. The. Wait. You. Treat. Savior. B. Ungrateful. You owe. Taste. Revenge. Once upon a time, there lived a clownfish named Tuna. He lived on the Great Barrier Reef with his family and relatives. For as long as he could remember, his grandmother, Flora, had been telling him stories about the marine scenery and his grandmother was still a baby fish. Baby Tuna, how unfortunate it is that you can never observe the livelihood and colorful diversity of the Great Barrier Reef. Just decades ago, this place was one of the seven wonders of the natural world. But because of those little devils called human beings, the beauty gradually faded, and along with it, the great biodiversity. One day, a 14-year-old Australian boy named Bob went diving to watch the coral reef, and it so happened that Tuna was searching for food right next to him. Ew! Is that a human? Hello? Get away from me! Humans are scary! You guys keep destroying our home! No, we don't. At least I don't. I love the ocean. It is sad that your house is being destroyed. I was also wondering why the reef looks so grey and not colorful like in the books. It's true. Humans are releasing more and more greenhouse gases every day. Each year, you release 50 billion tons of CO2 into the atmosphere. This causes the zooxanthellae in our coral reef to separate from it. The algae provide the coral with nutrients. And without this algae, the coral reef will eventually die. Not only is the temperature rising, the gas you are emitting also increases the acidity of the ocean. It makes it harder for the coral reef to repair itself. And every century, it just keeps getting worse. Well, I can't believe it. We can try to fix it then. If they can't do it, then we can. Not as like individuals, but as a team. And that is how the journey began. Bob brought him to school, educating his peers and making speeches in class, trying to raise awareness. They dedicate a lot of effort, but not a single person joined them in their campaign or even cared much about what they were saying. They were disappointed, but refused to give up so easily. One day, Bob came up with an idea to make Instagram Reels, TikTok videos, and YouTube videos. There must be other like-minded individuals who would support them. The new strategy indeed worked out in their favor. At first, there were barely any views, but after several weeks, the videos started to blow up and become trendy. And before they noticed, everyone was talking about them. All of a sudden, millions of people began to follow their social media account and advocated with them. The young ones then tried to raise awareness in their own communities, and eventually, even the elders were taking actions, such as saying no to anchoring boats in areas with coral reefs or choosing more sustainable seafood options. Several years later, after that, Bob brought Tuna back to the ocean, where he reunited with his loved ones. Tuna was extremely taken aback. Was that really the Great Barrier Reef? You see, my baby Tuna. The glory and the greatness of the Great Barrier Reef has been restored. You have saved our home. And that is my story. How Tuna and I helped to restore the coral reefs. It was a long and treacherous journey. But at the end, the coral reefs were restored, and the ecosystem was flourishing ever after. You see, we need to protect our ocean because it is the source of our life. It doesn't matter if you're young or old, rich or poor women or men, you can take part in protecting coral reefs and the marine ecosystem.